All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about percent composition. And what percent composition basically is, is the percent by mass of the elements in a compound. So the typical equation we use to figure out the mass percentage is total mass of element divided by mass of compound times 100%. So basically there's three different steps here. First, we wanna find the total mass of the element. So say we have something like our potassium sulfate here and we're asked to find the mass percentage of our oxygen. So we have four oxygen atoms here. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to take the mass of one oxygen atom and multiply it by four, and that would be our numerator here, the total mass of the element. And then the denominator is the mass of the entire compound, right? So we wanna find the mass of everything within this little compound. We wanna find the mass of the two atoms of potassium, the sulfate, and the four uh, atoms of oxygen, and we just put that all on the bottom and then multiply it by 100. So what we do is we go to our handy dandy periodic table and we find the mass of oxygen, which rounded up is about 16. And then since we have four of those atoms, we multiply it by four. Then our denominator, we're gonna we're gonna have two atoms of potassium. So if we go to potassium, potassium is about 39.098. 39.098. Then we add on the mass of our sulfur, which is about 32.066. And then we add on the mass of our oxygen, which is same thing as the numerator, and then we take that and we multiply it by 100%. All right, so that's gonna end up being about 36.726%, right? Now, if we wanted to, for fun, we could figure out the uh, mass percentage of the other elements in this compound, the um, potassium and the sulfur. Uh, basically, since it's called percent composition, you would expect that the mass percentage of the potassium plus the sulfur plus the oxygen would make up 100%. It would compose into one compound. So, let's do that. Basically, we're going to try to find potassium's mass percentage. And then on the denominator, I'll just put these little quotation marks to symbolize that it's the same thing as the bottom here, which is what makes percent composition problems kind of easy. So that would be... ...44.873%. And I've rounded here, so... It might make up more than 100%, but it's definitely going to be close to 100%. And then for the sulfur, 32.066 over the denominator. And that is going to be 18.401%. So just looking at these numbers, you can see that they're pretty much going to end up with 100 and yep, if you look at my screen here, I don't know if it'll focus. You can see it adds up to 100. We've done it correctly, and that is how easy percent composition is. Ooh, it's the end screen. Click on one of these links to be directed to that playlist. And don't forget to subscribe!